Hi, Microsoft launched Windows Azure Infrastructure as a Service options on 16th of April. It's not possible to run any application on virtual machines using Windows Server 2008 R2 and later. The service also includes new templates for spinning up BizTalk 2013, SharePoint 2013 and SQL Server 2012 virtual machines in Microsoft's cloud. It's not just Windows Server virtual machines that can run from Windows Azure, but also various Linux server distros. Options include using OpenLogic CentOS, OpenSUSE, SUSE Linux Enterprise Server, and Ubuntu. Pre-built images for those Linux operating systems are housed in Microsoft Open Technologies VM Depot Portal. This portal is an online repository of operating system images maintained by third-party software vendors. Microsoft also provides a set of Node.js scripts, which can be used to configure multiple Linux OS. Let's experience how to create Linux virtual machines. Click New, Virtual Machine and From Gallery. In this case, I select CentOS 6.2. We now provide the name for virtual machine as well as the username and password and then select sizes of the machine. In this case, I select medium and continue. Next, we select the DNS name. We also have the ability on the screen to set the storage account that we would like to use for our VHD if we have multiple. Where we would like our VHD to show up and the subscription we would like to use. We can accept the defaults and continue to finish. When our virtual machine is provisioned and ready to use, the status would change to running. Once we see running appear, we can now connect to our virtual machine. Windows Azure automatically provisions and sets up internet endpoint for port 22, which is a standard SSH port for Linux. And if we connect to the dashboard tab here, we can scroll down and see the endpoint that exists. And we can simply copy and paste the DNS name and paste that to SSH client party for Windows in this case. So simply we paste that in and since port 22 are already open, click on that. Now you can go ahead and log in using the username and password that I configured when I set up the virtual machines.